This video is a Bybit grid trading bot tutorial. I'm gonna go over what exactly they are and how they work under the surface. What are we actually doing here? Uh, what are the risks? What are the potential benefits of this as well? How they actually work and then how to go ahead and actually implement them on Bybit as well. Um, so I'll go over that in this video. I'll leave all of the timestamps for each section down in the description. Firstly, we'll go over what exactly a grid bot is and how that works under the surface, what the uh, computer system is actually doing here, some of the parameters that you might wanna set with that, some of the pros and cons of it as well. Um, so we'll go over that first. Also, if you don't have Bybit yet, if you don't have an account, uh, I'll leave the link in the description. They give uh, deposit bonuses up to $4,000 in your futures trading account. They also give other deposit bonuses as well. So just check that out by the link. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, the offer might be different. But we wanna, we wanna go over what exactly a trading bot is and how it works. So there's really two main things to uh, understand with a grid trading bot. First is the upper and lower bound. You can see those red lines here. And then in the bound, within the trading uh, range, you know what is it doing? So firstly, when, when you're creating a bot, what, what you're doing is just telling it to trade uh, obviously buy low and sell high within a range. That's pretty much it. So anything above and below is not gonna be traded. Now, the reason for this is because um, if you have a lot of capital that's spread out over a very large price range and you're telling the bot, hey, you need to save some dry powder for like if the price moves down like 95%, then the bot is going to uh, not be very concentrated. And that means you might have a lot of capital that's being saved that, just isn't being used. And so that's why you have these upper and lower bounds is to try and concentrate your capital in the smallest range possible. And the reason for that is because obviously the ideal scenario is to put your entire life savings here at 97 and then sell it all at 99 and keep doing that over and over again. Now, obviously that doesn't work in reality, but that's an example of saying, if you have money, you know, at prices that are way uh, out of the range in terms of where the actual price is, then it's gonna be um, diluted a little bit. So, you know, that's something you can choose or you can let the bot choose it dependent on what it thinks is best from all the data it has. So that's how that works. Now inside the bot, you have what are known as grids. And a grid is very simply an, a buy order and a sell order, obviously buy low and sell high. So you're gonna tell the bot, hey, I wanna buy at 98 and I wanna sell at 99, and that's one grid. Now that's really great, but obviously you can't predict the price. So what the bot does is just put a puts a bunch of bids at different price levels. So it might have a bid at 97, a bid at 98, a bid at 99, and a bid at 96. And the price obviously is going to move around here. So what it does is just refreshes these bids all the time. So let's say it gets hit at 98, and the price moves down to 97, and then you've bought another one. Now what it's gonna do is obviously sell these as well. So when the price moves up to 97.5, it's going to sell the, uh, the crypto it bought at 97. And that's a small profit, and that's known as a grid right here. So the 97 buy and the 97.5 sell. That's exactly how it works. Now if the price moves up again, it's going to sell this grid right here. And that would be another grid that's gone through, and that's your profit. Now, if the price moves back down to this level again, then it's just gonna refresh the bid once more uh, at the same level. And so you buy in again at that level and you're waiting for the price to go up uh, again to obviously get that sell, which it also has refreshed. So that's what it does 24 hours a day. Lots and lots of buys and sells and it just reacts to the price all of the time, refreshes all of the bids and offers over time. So that's it. Now, if the price falls out, what happens is it stops trading and yes, you have bought some crypto up at these levels. So there is definitely still risk with a grid trading bot. You have long exposure to whatever asset you, that you're trading. And so if you're choosing an asset to trade, then it should be one that you're happy holding anyway and that you're happy getting long exposure to because you still do have exposure. If you, if you buy here and the price falls down below and never recovers, then you've still got that crypto up there and it's unable to sell. Now you can change the parameters of the bot if you want, but that's really the, the, the kind of basics of how it works. It's refreshing bids and offers all the time. In general though, you have long exposure and so over time, you're hoping for the price to rise within this range and taking the profits out. This is a bot that I have running on a different platform right now. And uh, hopefully that kind of shows you what the bot is doing, right? So below here, it's got lots of bids. And then up here, it's got offers, um, you know, that it wants to sell on complete grids and profits. But obviously, as the price moves up and down, it just refreshes everything within the range. You can see every bid and offer as well on Bybit on the system. So um, this is on a different platform, but you can hopefully see how it works. So you just have so many 
uh, bids at different price levels, uh, and then all of the offers as well. And it just refreshes them over time. And you can make maybe half a percent or one percent on each grid. And when each grid is printed, you can see you just print a very small profit. Let's look at Bybit specifically then and how to actually enter trades or grid bots onto the system. So you go to trade and then trading bot right here. It says create your first grid bot. So you can come to create now. And then there's a few things that you need to understand. So first is the pair that you're trading. What pair do you want to trade? Now, some pairs are going to look like they're printing really big profits. And you know, I think really for me, the first thing is, what do I actually want to own? Because you are going to be owning this. And so even though a grid bot may look, you can see 24 hour change and, and everything on the right hand side that it's printing really good profits. What I would personally look for is, what do I want to own anyway? Because you're gonna get long exposure to this. So do I wanna be trading some kind of speculative altcoin that I don't really wanna be in? Not me personally, you might get good results out of that. But for me, I'm just gonna choose Bitcoin because I'm happy to be long Bitcoin anyway. And if the bot can earn some extra profits, then I'm happy for that. Um, now what you can do is autofill right here and it's gonna give you the best parameters. What you can see is that there's a price range, a lower and an upper bound. Now remember, the wider the price range, the more spread out your capital is, the shorter the price range, the more concentrated your capital is, which is usually good, but obviously the more the smaller the price range is, the more risk you have of the price coming out of the range, either up or down. But you can just press autofill here, and it's gonna give you what it thinks is the best, and it obviously knows better than a human because it has all, the, all of the data. Now we can see number of grids. Number of grids is really important. The more grids that you have, the more the bot trade, trades, and the smaller the grid profit per grid. So as you can see here, as I up the amount of grids, we've got 29 grids at the moment, and it tells me the interval, right? So between the lower and upper bound price, um, the grid interval is $235, and the grid profit is around 1%, so 0.93% to 1.26% dependent. Now, the more grids I have, you'll see each percentage profit per grid go down. So if I add this, you can see the percentage profit per grid goes down. That makes sense because more grids means smaller differences between each grid. And if I come down here, um, you'll see we have more percentage profit. Now, obviously the biggest profit is if you just had like two grids. Uh, I don't know how many you can do as a minimum right here, maybe 10. You can see the percentage profit per grid is obviously uh, a little bit more. Um, you, you want a good balance here between actually getting trades done and kind of trying to extract some profit out uh, and obviously just you know having too many. Now having too many is not good because you pay trading fees here just like you would normally and so you, you don't want to just be trading all of the time and just you know paying so many fees. So I think the autofill is probably going to give you an idea and then you can change that as to what you think is best. The wider the price range the profit per grid is going to change as well. So if I put in a top range of say 50,000, you can see the profit per grid goes up because I've kept the grids the same, but I've just increased the price difference between the, the lower and upper bound. So autofill is gonna give you a good idea of how it's trading, but dependent on how long you want the grid to last for, um, you know, if the price goes up above 25,000, the grid bot's gonna stop trading. And so you may have to edit the bot or start a new bot. So just keep that in mind, uh, you know, when you are actually creating, this is just from your spot account. So we're not trading futures here or anything. It's just a spot uh, grid trading and then just press create now. And what it's gonna do is enter all those bot, uh, enter all those grids. But it's also going to buy you some Bitcoin at the price level, wh whatever it may be at the time. So you're gonna have a long position in Bitcoin here. Let's say the Bitcoin price is 20K at right now. It's gonna enter a, an initial long position at 20K and then also keep some US dollar tether um, around just to kind of buy lower as well if the price moves back down. I think the main thing to know about a grid bot is that you need to be happy holding whichever asset that you're trading. So for example, if you look on the leaderboard, you'll always see some crazy altcoins have the most APR, for example, 6,000% APR. The problem is this happened before you were trading it. And so this isn't going to continue, right? Now, what this means is over the past week or so, there has been a crazy volatile move in one of these assets. It just happens to be Dogecoin at this point. You just have to think long term and think, is that going to continue? And it's a long bias bot. So you need to be happy that whatever you're owning is going to go up over the long term because um, you have to obviously sell the grids that you're trading. And if it just is down only, then you know, you're, you're basically long that. So I think the high APRs are 
uh, obviously commensurate with the amount of risk that you're taking. It's always a crazy altcoin that pumps up randomly and you know, you're just lucky to be in the bot. Really for long-term investors or people that have portfolios anyway, you either treat that as you know, just a risk part of your portfolio or potentially you say, I just wanna actually just hold Bitcoin or Ethereum anyway. And so this may get a little bit of extra APR out of it from that. Um, so hopefully that kind of, um, you know, uh, explains a little bit why these APRs, you know, they're a little bit misleading. Is like, do you actually want to own Dogecoin over the long term? And, you know, is the grid bot actually going to, um, you know, really make money over the long term or just randomly make money on a, on a pump? And then, you know, the price comes down and you don't want to get in late. This has already occurred. So that's something I always think about. In terms of getting the grid bots open, you can see them here. Your active bots are just given to you very simply there. You can change them around and, and delete them. You can see the profit of each bot or the loss as it may be, the kind of total APR and what it's giving you. Um, if you wanna you know, just terminate the bot and end it, you can do that right here. Um, so pretty simple. And then like I showed you on the other platform a bit earlier, you have all of your grid positions. So all of your buyers here, all of your sales here. And really for me, grid bots are like a long-term thing where you say, I wanna hold some Bitcoin or ETH anyway. Uh, and the grid bot may kind of make some trading profits for me and kind of take some yield out of the market that's uh, different to just kind of holding it in your wallet and cold storage. The most important points about grid bots for me is that they are not clever. They just do what you tell them. So really all they do is just try and trade uh, high frequency to earn yield out of the market from trading small amounts you still have long exposure to that crypto. So don't be fooled by high APRs, right? Like if you're in an altcoin that has a high, high APR, the likelihood is that it's just going to pump up and then just slowly come down over time. The grid bot is not going to be able to work miracles. You're gonna lose money if the price goes down always. So it really is a long exposure and then risk and yield, right? So you, you must wanna be long the underlying asset that you're trading, otherwise you're, you're kind of you know, in the bot for the wrong reasons. You might get lucky, but that's not really an investing strategy. And the bot just aims to extract some yields from trading profit, profits. In my experience, my Bitcoin bots make about 5% and my ETH bots make about 5%, but it can go up to maybe six, seven, eight percent as well. So that's good for me to just put a little bit aside in Bitcoin and ETH because I hold them anyway. And it's just a bit of uh, extra for the portfolio, you know, just as a, a bit of yield that may get out of it. But obviously there's platform risk here. Um, you know, and other risks as well with the grid trading bots and they might stop. So you have to actively manage them. So there is some pros and cons to all of this. If you want to try out the Bybit grid trading bot, uh, link in the description there, you might be able to get some deposit bonuses. I'm James with Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.